do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Pride of Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, we're gonna showcase how to use the Raspberry Pi 4 to do an SMB share using a newer method. And basically I'm using a, a, a thumb drive that has PS2 games on there. Plug into the Raspberry Pi 4, use the ethernet cable from the Pi 4 to the PS2, fat or slim, and then use OPL and access the games as a lot of good times. To help save some time, I'm assuming you already know how to use a Raspberry Pi 4 already and how to um, write an image already to your micro SD. You can use a desktop version like I'm using right here, or you can use like a Raspbian, or I think it's called Raspberry Pi OS actually, the light version, or you can use any other kind of Linux distro as you wish. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go to my web browser here. I have a bookmark and we're gonna go to basically the GitHub site for the PSX Pi SMB share. And I want to thank Tuobach. He did a great work on this project um, program um, like a year or two ago, and it's awesome. So what you're going to do is I go to the code here, and there's a lot of great resources in the README. So by all means, go through it, get up to speed. You can use it more than just a Raspberry Pi um, with the PS2, for example. But anyways, what we're going to do is near the top, there's some code here that if you run the code, it actually works for your Raspberry Pi 4, and I'm using the four gigabyte, but you can definitely use the one, the two, or eight gigabyte model as well. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal. And I'm gonna type in the code basically. So here, the first code is CD space. It's like this tilde key, so press enter. And then here, I'm just gonna highlight and drag, or actually what I'm gonna do is, um, since I'm using a touchpad here, I'm just gonna do this real quick, guys and go to the end, control C, and then go back to my terminal, right click with the mouse here, click on paste, enter, and it downloads the code, great. Now I can do this, so ch mod 755 space setup dot sh, and then the last piece is sudo space dot forward slash setup.sh, enter. All right, cool, now it, it, it does this thing basically. So once it's finally done, what I recommend is um, reboot. I don't know if rebooting is really necessary, but I always like to reboot just in case. And you should be good to go. So then you just plug in your PS2 thumb drive. I'm assuming you already have your games installed correctly to USB. If you don't know how to do that, see the PS2 modding playlist I got a video that showcases how to do that in 2020. Anyways, you plug that USB in to your Raspberry Pi 4, for example, plug in a ethernet cable from the Raspberry Pi 4 to the back of your PS2, and then on your PS2, go ahead and load OPL. How do you load OPL? You can use Streamic Boot. If you have Free HDB, uh, you could do that as well. If you have uh, Fortuna Project or Funtuna, actually you can use those, or you launch Alpha Disk. You can use all those stuff, or free duty boot for that matter, to launch, you launch Alf and then boot OPL. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please go check out the PS2 playlist. We've got a lot of great videos. And um, once you uh, start your OPL, assuming that you have your network settings correct, oh, that's probably one other thing you probably should learn how to do, is down here, there's a nice section that shows the network setup, right? So for this Pi, or PSX Pi SMB share, excuse me, is you want to set up your network settings like this screenshot, or you might need to modify as needed. But I think you follow the screenshot, you're good to go. So essentially on your PS2, you're gonna give it a static IP address of 192.168.22, IP address of 255.255.255.0, gateway 192.168.2.1, DNS server 8888, and then SMB server is 192.168.2.1. So that's your IP address of your Raspberry Pi 4, unless you changed it for whatever reason, and then you're good to go. And then you can also read some of this other text instructions here if you need some more details, but that's how it works. And why do I advocate this solution? Because, you know, Raspberry Pi 4 or any of the earlier versions is like a mini computer. You can do whatever you tell it to do, basically, and it's awesome, right? It's low power, it's a great solution, if you go traveling, go to your friend's house, whatever, you can bring this little computer with you and your PS2 and get ready to have a lot of good times. And then when you're done, 
Um, maybe connect the Raspberry Pi to your TV, load up RetroPie, and play a lot of old school emulation or whatever you want to do, right? So anyway, let's go back to the terminal and we see we have some of this stuff here. So we're going to say yes. I totally forgot there's some wizard prompts as uh, it's been a while since I've done this as I want to do this fresh for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and just see what happens here with the download setting up process. All right, guys, so basically I was watching the process. It probably took five minutes or so, something like that. And it turns out it actually auto reboots itself. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shut down my Raspberry Pi 4 so I can get closer to my PS2 here. And then I'm gonna plug in my USB thumb drive, turn on the Pi 4, turn on the PS2, and uh, I'll turn on my camera here and show the whole process working. So it should be ready for a lot of good times. Let's do this. Okay, so let's do this. So here's my quick setup. I got the Raspberry Pi 4. I actually have an overclock, but this is unnecessary with the with the cooling fan and all that jazz. But I have Ethernet cable to my PS2, and I got my USB already plugged in. I got my power cord, and this is just uh, purely optional. I like to use like an actual shutdown button, so I have like a little a Raspberry Pi 4 script, but that's not required for this setup. Anyways, back to the main attraction. So let me move this up. And let's get ready for a lot of good times. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna go into OPL. So let's go down to open PS2 loader. And I have it set up for automatically load from ethernet, but I'll show you my settings in a second here. We can see that I got Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I got the cover art, all that good stuff. So I, I press start and go to network settings. This matches the GitHub website, remember that? So 192.168.22, 255, 255, 255, 0, 192.168.21, And then the SMB server address type, this is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi 4, 192.168.2.1, share, and not set, not set. So I just go down here, say reconnect, make sure you save your changes. If you're curious on how to set up your um, cover art, go to display settings and you can have you know these various options on. And let's go back to the game itself. And just to let you guys know, there's more than one way to skin a cat in terms of how to play your games from SMB, right? You can use your laptop or computer connected to your PS2. You could have a router with a USB port and have that plug into your PS2 and do an SMB share, right? Um, you can have a network switch with your laptop or PC connected to the switch. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other creative ways. You can use a NAS, for example, right? So there's a lot of different ways of how to get your fix, but Raspberry Pi 4 is just one solution out of many. So hopefully if someone out there has a Raspberry Pi 4 or you have an older model, by all means you can still follow the tutorial and still have a lot of good times here. What I do like about this solution is, although the game is on USB, the Raspberry Pi 4 has like a USB 2.0 and a 3.0 interface actually. And we're not gonna saturate the USB interface. And you're using ethernet that goes to the PS2, so you're giving your PS2 the best chance of playing your games lag free, right? And a lot of games that I tested on ethernet, I don't really have any issues with the game, uh, the music, the in-game movies, you know, things like that. So anyways, that is today's quick PS2 tutorial showcasing how to use the Raspberry Pi 4, loading games off of USB through SMB using the PSX Pi SMB share. I want to thank Toolbox for creating the program and hosting it on GitHub. It's a great tool to add to your toolbox there. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.